Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to school. Hi, Mr. Presley here with you on this terrific Thursday for learning. Today is Thursday, September 15th, 2022. We're glad you're back with us for a day of learning. It's a little cooler out there, highs in the high 60s today, maybe up to 70, but definitely cooler weather is on the way as it's almost fall. We're in the last few days of summer. Hey, you know what today is? Today is the start of National Hispanic Heritage Month. That's right, we've got some displays up in our school and you'll notice those. So happy National Hispanic Heritage Month to everybody. Um, it starts September 15th today and runs through October 15th. And what it is, is it's a way for us to recognize all of those people in our community and around our country who are Hispanic in their heritage. We have a, a, a thing over there that explains a little bit about it, but I'm gonna explain a little bit about it to you as well. It actually started in 1968 as Hispanic Heritage Week under President Lyndon Johnson, and then it was expanded by President Ronald Reagan in 1988 to cover a 30-day period from September 15th to October 15th, um, and that was enacted again in 1988. So, the day of September 15th is significant because it's the anniversary of the independence for Latin American countries of Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua. In addition, Mexico and Chile celebrate their independence days September 16th and 18th, so just in the next couple days. And then also, uh, Dia, de la, Dia de la Raza, which is October 12th, falls within that period as well. So it's again, a way to celebrate Hispanic heritage. So I've got a couple of people I wanted to recognize today. One is Selena. One is Selena. So Selena is a, a woman who, uh, her name is actually Selena Quintiliano Perez. Um, she was born uh, April of 1971. Um, she died actually in 1995, but she's known as just Selena, her first name. Um, she was an American singer. She was called the Queen of Tejano Music. Her contributions in music and fashion made her one of the most celebrated Mexican-American entertainers of the late 20th century. Um, Billboard magazine put her on, in third place on their list of greatest Latino artists of all time. So that is Selena. And then another person you may know recently is Julio Rodriguez. Julio Rodriguez was born December of 2000. He's nicknamed J-Rod. He's a Dominican, he's from the Dominican Republic, um, and he's a Dominican professional baseball player and outfielder for the Seattle Mariners in Major League Baseball. He signed with the Mariners as an international free agent in 2017 and made his Major League debut this year, 2022. He was selected to the 2022 Major League Baseball All-Star roster, making him only the sixth Seattle Mariner to be uh, a rookie to do so. He also participated in this year's Home Run Derby where he hit 81 home runs across three rounds and he placed second in the Home Run Derby this year. And then a big event for him was just this last August against the Washington Nationals, he hit his 20th home run, making him only the sixth player in Seattle Mariners history to join the club of 20 home runs and 20 stolen bases, and um, only the fourth player in Major League history to do so in their first season. And then he became the first person, the player to join the 25-25, that's 25 home runs and 25 stolen bases in his first season. And he signed a big, huge contract to play for the Seattle Mariners for 14 years, a contract extension worth up to $400 million. So we'll have Julio Rodriguez around on the Mariners for a long time. So those are the two people that I wanted to introduce to you today on the first day of National Hispanic Heritage Month. Also, boys and girls, tomorrow is the last day to turn in your summer reading challenge uh, forms. If you have your summer reading challenge forms, please get those turned in. Um, tomorrow is the last day. We have prizes for the top students for the summer doing that. And we also had a summer book club that met. And if you're in, if you were in the Losers Club book club um, with Mrs. McBride, she has a special event coming up for you. So if you're in the summer book club, 
meet, uh, meet with her uh, next Thursday. She'll be printing out information and giving you that as well. So again, tomorrow's the last day to turn in your summer uh, reading challenge forms. All right, boys and girls, let's have a great day of learning. Let's celebrate today and uh, every day, National Hispanic Heritage Month. It starts today. Have a great day of learning. Let's soar falcons. And always remember, your Freilands family cares about you. Teachers, please lead your students in the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you.